the uh, the official translator of the manga for Jujutsu Kaisen got arrested. What? And now they have a new translator translating Jujutsu Kaisen. Man, it's and always getting maybe these people always get arrested. Yeah, but you want to know what to get arrested for? Child molestation. He's a pedophile. <laughs> Dang. He was buying child porn and distributing it. And I've talked to this dude. I've DM'd him uh, before. And uh, he... And I've always felt off about the guy, not going to lie. Uh, they he had a lot of... He's like, you know, big friends with other translators yeah. and people online and stuff. And But I've always like, eh, about the guy. Because he's just like... I mean, he's... I don't want to say he's like overhyped guy because there's nothing wrong with that. You know, he's just like always hyping it up. But he's just always felt a little off, you yeah. know? Just like, I'm like, I don't know about you, dude. You know? Um, but... And then I'm like, well, I guess I have a good suspicion because uh, yeah. dude's a pedophile. Dude. But guess what? It doesn't end there, dude. Found out that uh, I don't know if Viz or them are doing back check background checks when they uh, hire these yeah. people. But uh, I mean, no, I mean Viz is awesome. But this this guy, I mean, bro, <laughs> I mean, unless he was hiding it well. But anyway, apparently he went to Japan yeah. as an English teacher before, and he got arrested there because he put cameras in elementary school bathrooms. Okay. Uh, okay, it's funny. Not yeah. funny. It's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's disgusting. Like, I don't think anybody in this world would argue with me and be like, "No, oh, that's okay." No, no that's dude. that's wrong. And why do all these anime people? Why are all of them just like, "Hey, you know what? Let's just grab some kids and look at them." What the fuck? Dude. That's disgusting. It's so disgusting, man. Have fun in prison. <laughs> Have fun. I hope you're watching this. I, and you subscribe. And I, <laughs> I hope you throw some money our way, too, and we'll let the whole child molestation thing go. No, we won't. But um, No, dude. That, yeah, that, I don't know what's up with, like, up with people and just pedophiles, bro. Like, that, I mean, uh, here's the thing. Even people still try to be like, I'm not reading Jujutsu anymore. I'm like, dude, it's a freaking translator. Yeah. It's not even his work, you know? He was just helping, you know, bring it over here. But yeah. they, they, got a, they got a translator quick. Like real quick, um, I think the only thing like people like that were upset, like people that really liked him, was the uh, he was very passionate about the work, yeah. and and I, I mean he, also he was passionate about other things too. <laughs> yeah, a little a little too much. And here's the thing, we we said at the beginning of the podcast, you know, we don't care what you do as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. I said yeah. that, but this thing, um, that's that's a little little that's a big a step more. over the line. Like you you went over to another state. I mean, I know we talk about. I mean, we really don't actually, but sometimes we'll have like some political views that are to us. And I mean, I know some people get offended. We don't mean to, but in this topic with child molestation, child pornography, stuff like that, yeah. with this, I will go ahead and say that's unacceptable. Oh, that's, and that's I mean, like it's the, not, I'm not going to stop watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Right. Because it really, it can go on without him. And he's not really, now to me, he's dead to me. Yeah, I mean, you never even knew about him. You never didn't, you didn't read the manga, so. You didn't care. That's not right. A fan. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, that, I, I just don't understand that. I'm like, bro, because kids, they don't know. And they that's know. that's the reason why it's bad. It's like, they can't, like, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Even if. That's why you need adults. Right. Unlike him, who can teach kids, hey, this is wrong. But he's teaching kids the wrong thing. Now these kids are going to grow up and they're going to go, that was me. Yeah. That was, that's what I had to go through. And that by itself is just, that's that's just hell wrong. for that person. And for the moms and dads who now have a child that went through that, what are they thinking about themselves mm-hmm. if they let that happen? Um, it's, and, it's different, though, uh, in America. Because in Japan, uh, there's a uh, – I don't know if you ever heard of the uh, anime Toriko. Or the manga Toriko? I think so. Um, he's doing another manga now called Build King. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. But he did something illegal that was uh, with like you know kids, and um, always. But he, they like forgave him, and now he's back with another manga. And there was a the guy that made uh, Ronin Kenshin. Mm-hmm. He got arrested for possession of child porn, and but his in Japan apparently I don't know what it is. Is like having child porn. You just like it's like a slap off the hand and then you come back what? and he's and he's back with another manga but here's the thing in america you know they're just like canceled but in yeah. japan they're like we'll give you another chance you know uh, what would you I do actually, though if uh, i'll use i'll use in progress podcast videos as an example okay um if we had in our crew if we had a crew member who was caught with that 
to me, that would put a bad, I'd put a bad taste in my mouth for uh, whoever's watching our content because right. whoever's watching our content does not need to see or even think that we're involved in that stuff. Hmm. I would not. Even if he served his time in prison and he wants to come back, I don't think so because I can't, I don't want to risk a child being hurt or right. worse. I mean, no matter what, they get caught, it's still a bad name on us. And it's, and even whenever you're caught, that stays on your record for life. Um, uh, I watched the thing on TikTok. I mean, I know it's TikTok, but there's some real things on TikTok. Uh, they talk about what happens in prison to these guys. Uh, they're kept in special cases by themselves. Like mm. when you're on the bus to go into prison, everybody sit on a seat except for the pedophiles. They're in a glass case where you can't touch them. Jeez. Because they know they'll die. And when they get to prison, it's announced what they did. So that whenever you get in prison, literally even the worst people imaginable in prison look at them and go, you're dead. You're dead. The guy who murdered... Rob Banks and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, you, you know you're golden compared to the guy who molested a child. Right. It's. I think that's. It's. It's bad that they you know robbed and like you know killed. But I think it's. I think. It, I mean, in a way, I think it's kind of funny how they all team up mm-hmm. and go against the guy that you know was a pedophile. Yeah. Because there's. I mean, I know he's definitely getting butt raped in right now. <laughs> definitely. I hope you have fun. I hope your anus is as big as this. I hope you <laughs> shit a brick. But anyway. There's uh me personally protecting uh kids from that is a big thing um because I couldn't I don't think I could live on myself if I could have helped and it happened I don't know what I would do and if I was a parent to a child that happened to I don't know what I would do I would how do you how do you stop and go oh my gosh because I know. I've seen kids uh, in my day who don't have good lives, but there's some kids, like, all we, kids don't get to choose their life. Their parents basically have to pave a path for them to start out in, and whenever a parent is trying as hard as they can to pave a path for them to grow up, and mm-hmm. then something like that happens, you feel like you're a failure as a parent. That kid's now got to live with that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, there's some people in this world who don't want kids and who despise kids, but we can all agree that a kid is a harmless little thing that right. doesn't need that kind of stuff. There's they can people, be very evil though. Yeah. But they, they can be very that's evil. why you got to raise them right. <laughs> and that's honestly what kids need is protection. Right. Because, um, I mean, that's why you got to stop having dads going out and getting milk and never coming back. Yeah. I, I will. My dad did that. Never met my dad. And you know oh. what? I'm a fucked up piece of shit, <laughs> but, I don't but really you know, care. yeah, some people, some people, uh, have like because they're they're strong enough you know yeah i mean I, that, some people are and i'm not trying to say if you don't have a dad that you're weak no i'm it, some saying, people take a, it very differently yeah that's what i'm saying it's all you know everybody's yeah. different but, but there are i mean there are some dads out there who are ready to have kids just for that wrong wrong purpose of mm. that and that's disgusting that guys pedophilia is bad in case you didn't know that